let's dive in to some new planners. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer, also known as Happy Place Planning. I'm glad you stopped by and I hope you enjoy today's video. So I have done a full review on Lauren Treslow's The Plan and the party plan here is in my current lineup and I plan on using their Christmas plan book and I will link that for you in the description below. Um, this is the company's second year in the making and they already have some um, improvements made to their planner, which I think is amazing. When companies take their first year launch, listen to their customers and then make those changes. So I was um, asked to review these and I said, yes, absolutely, please send them my way. So these are the plans that have been updated for 2023. This is a new product for them called the Simple Plan, which we will talk about in just a minute. Um, first, we're going to look at their core planner, their very first item called the plan, and it has been updated in several um, different ways. You will probably notice that this is a smaller book. It is now an eight and a half by seven inch planner, and I did just want to show it in comparison to the 22 current planner here on the left. Um, it is substantially smaller making it more portable and easier to take with you if you did not just want to leave it on your desk. The coils seem to be about the same dimension and the same thickness for the number of pages since this is a daily planner. However, it has that slimmer profile um, height-wise. So just a little bit more portable. They've also added some storage to this year's planner. This is not in the 2022 planner. This is in the new 23 planner. So it has this nice cardstock material, um, pocket folder coiled on, and it has a nice fun pink pattern there. Definitely large enough that you could hold um, sheets of paper folded in half, party invitations, birthday invitations, anything like that, receipts that you wanna keep with you in your planner. We also need to talk about the cover updates. So there are six new covers to choose from all by female artists. However, I did wanna point out the lamination update on the 2022 version. You can see that the design goes to about right here. And then there's that quarter of an inch lamination around all of the edges. They have updated that as well. And there is actually no lamination overhang on the new 2023 version. It's cut flush with the design. So I have obviously one cover. So if you wanna see the other five covers available, again, all by female artists, you can go um, to the plans Instagram account. I have seen Lauren talk about um, each of those artists this past week. And I always like getting the behind the scenes details. It's always really fun. I also think that they definitely have their own aesthetic here. Lots of bright, fun colors paired with their classic white coil and then the pink tab. So something I definitely like, and I like that they're kind of sticking to their roots with a similar design aesthetic for the new year. All right, let's jump to the inside of this updated planner, the plan, plan the work, work the plan, is Lauren's um, trademark saying, and we're just gonna go through page by page. I can tell you that there are updated graphics and quotes, recipes, and goal setting on the me plan worksheets in here. So everything has been kind of given a new facelift for the new year. I did wanna mention too that the paper um, I feel like it's gotten a little bit of an update as well. And when you open the book, you're gonna have her logo here with um, the dates of this planner, which are January through December, 2023. And these will be launching in August. I'll put all that information down in the description below along with my coupon code if you feel um, the desire to use it. You also get a section here for your name, contact info, and what do you want for yourself this year? Um, a place to plan, learn, and grow the best version of you. 
is the goal of this planner. You're gonna flip the page, you'll get a welcome note and a little bit about Lauren over here. And then you have a key because these elements will repeat throughout this book. So each day you'll have red line items. Those are actions that are most important for the day and must be done regardless. You also have this little icon for your daily meal planner and a heart for the me plan. You have a little wine glass here. What did I do for me? Meal prep and organize all built into this one book. The me plan, you can break down um, the plan for you basically. This is kind of like a self-care, self-improvement section where you can list items and goals for your health, movement, relationships, hydration, self-care, and meal prep. I also really like that she includes planning tips, which you'll also see throughout this book. So the planning tip on this goal plan for the me plan is to revise when needed. It's always okay to change things up. So if you sit down, this is a January start planner, maybe in December, map out a goal and you get a couple months into the new year and you realize things need to change. She says revise and I agree. You also have this um, delined notes page. If you have more in detail things you want to add to your me plan. And then she talks a little bit about meal prep. Um, I will go ahead and not read this to you, but if you want to, you can go ahead and pause the screen and take a look at her little note about meal prep. All right, you have two sections for meal prep, and then it goes into monthly organization. This is the area of this planner that I think could be very helpful if you were using it as a stay at home planner to organize your home. So you have January through April on this first page and then areas of the house, um, pantry and refrigerator, kitchen cabinets and under the sink, mudroom and entryway and laundry rooms, your outdoor area, and then if you have any measurements and products needed. Then you go into May, June, July, and August. May, you'll be focusing on the garage, attic, and overstock area. June would be nightstands and under the bathroom sinks. July, bedroom closets. August, miscellaneous closets. September, makeup and vanity and toiletries. October, playroom, bonus room, or home office. November, junk drawers. And December is holiday decorations. So I think I might actually start following this monthly guide. Um, I do have one that I just made up myself and I have written like on a notes page in one of my planners, but this just seems much more um, streamlined, I guess. So I also have to mention as I'm looking at this, I need you all to drop a comment. Do you have junk drawers in your house? We have two in the kitchen, primarily those are for my husband. I never get in them. <laughs> and honestly, if I had it my way, I probably would not have any junk drawers. But I know um, a lot of people think that they have to have a junk drawer and it's like a Southern thing maybe. I don't know. I've just heard people talking about it and then other people saying, you're crazy, what's a junk drawer? So I'm interested if you have a junk drawer or not, comment below and let me know why or why not. All right, then you're gonna jump into your big plan pages. So we have 10 year, five year, three year, and one year goal sections, followed by dates to remember. So just a few of the major, um, looks like federal holidays here on the dates to remember. And then I really like this um, option over here. If you want to celebrate, um, different holidays, not just the ones listed here. You have plenty of room on this dotted line section to keep track of what holidays you celebrate, birthdays, anniversaries, all of those things. You also get two pages for passwords and then two notes pages, two more notes pages. So a total of five notes pages, and then you're gonna go in to the plan. So 
these tabs um, start with January, since this is a January 2023 start. They are pink, they are labeled on both sides, and they are like a mylar um, coated tab. So they're very sturdy. They're gonna hold up as you flip um, through your book throughout the year. So the front of each month looks like this. You have this nice section to map out your month. To me, this is kind of like a dashboard section for the month, only without a whole lot of structure. So you could set this notes page up for the month however you needed um, to do so. When you open up to your um, tabbed page on the other side, you have a calendar start. It is a Monday start, which I prefer. Um, in my mind, weeks just start with Monday. Sunday stop and then you do have some updated icons on each of the holidays which I really liked um, in her classic pink um, aesthetic here. She also has her branding strip at the bottom and then your organization is going to pop up here as a reminder. So for January that was your refrigerator and pantry and you also have room for several notes. Now, on this book, the thing that has not changed is Saturday and Sunday still share a page. So on when that happens on the weekend, you share your red line items here. They're just um, kind of split in half here. So you have three for Saturday, three for Sunday. Same thing with the daily schedule, a 5 a.m. start, 9 p.m. stop, and you have two sections, one for Saturday, one for Sunday. You have two columns of notes um, to do. Then down here, which is very unique um, to Lauren's planner, you have a what did I do for me section, your me plan notes um, for Saturday and Sunday, and then a quote at the bottom and all of the quotes and the meal plans have been updated, which I love because if you buy this planner, for several years, then you have a ton of different recipes that you can try. I also enjoy the updated quotes just to keep things fresh. Okay, each Sunday in this book, you will have a meal prep page for the week. Meals to prepare, snacks to prepare, and breakfast, the grocery items that you need, and then that featured recipe of the week. You then turn your page and you go into your weekday pages that start with Monday. And you'll see the weekday pages are a page on their own. So they don't share a page like Saturday and Sunday do. You have those red line items, your meal planner, water intake, fitness, to do, scheduled appointments, what did you do for you today, meal plan notes, and a quote. And then that's going to repeat for the rest of the week for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then of course, Saturday and Sunday, share the page and you will go right into your next week, starting with Sunday meal prep and then your days of the week. So that is going to repeat um, for, out the, out, um, for the rest of the book. And you do have a notes page following your last day of the month. And then you go into your tab, which of course starts with the plan your calendar, your Sunday meal plan, all of your daily pages, and so forth. So let's flip to the back of the book and take a look at the end. So this planner ends in December 2023. So your last day is December 31st. You will turn the page. You have room for reflections on this dotted line page. And then I really like this option. Um, I think it's very thoughtful and I wish other planners would consider incorporating this um, into their planners as well. It's not so tiny that you can't really plan a whole lot, but it's not a full two page monthly spread either. So what you get is just this month on one page, again with their Monday start. Um, in my mind, plenty of room to map out future things that you need to jot down before your new planner starts in January of 2024. Can't believe I'm saying that. Can't believe we're talking about 2024. So after all 12 months of 2024, you do have a notes page. And then I do um, like that they included all of the artists for their covers. 
So if you want to, um, again, pause and read about any of those, you can read about the six female artists. And then the back of that is just a white page, which you could use as a notes page or memory keeping or whatever you needed to use it for, followed by that pocket planner that is new for the 2023 version. All right, so that is the updated version of the plan. And then I think a lot of you are gonna like this option. We now have a new product called the simple plan. Now, I know a lot of you are visual people, as am I, so I wanted to compare this um, to some popular other planners just for size comparison purposes. Again, this is the new simple plan. Here it is in comparison with the Erin Condren life planner, so a little bit shorter, about the same width. And then this is the flagship day designer. Substantially shorter, also just a little bit um, more narrow in width. And then this is the quarterly amplify planner. Same, about the same in width. The amplify might be just a little bit more narrow. I'm actually thinking they're right spot on and then substantially um, shorter in height. So the simplified plan is exactly what it sounds like. It is a simplified version of the plan that I just showed you. And this planner actually is a weekly planner rather than a daily planner. All right, these are gonna be launching on August 11th as well as the plan. But let's take a look at the weekly option here. Um, you'll notice right away that the key elements are going to repeat in this planner. So if you are familiar with the plan in the daily format, you're gonna see all those key icons, meal prepping, notes, all of that stuff is going to repeat in um, this planner as well, along with the monthly organization, which is probably my favorite option in this planner. Still have dates to remember and passwords. And then let's take a look at the tabbed and the meet pages of this plan. You will see the same um, pink mylar coated tabs that are double sided. And the month page does start again with notes for your plan. The month view is the exact same, starting with Monday, ending with Sunday. Those same updated icons, organization reminders and notes. So just for the start of this book, you do get just the end of the week here for 2022, along with reflections and planning. But then you jump right in to your weekly planning pages for 2023. Let's take a closer look at these weekly pages. So it is a Monday start with a Sunday end. Um, you have room on each day for events and then to-do lists. So a very simplified week version. I also like that she includes the me plan check-in on the week view so that once you write your week um, me plan out, you can refer to it weekly. I think keeping it right in front of you every week would be very beneficial. She also gives you room for notes. And then one of the things I love about Lauren's planners are the quotes. So each weekly page has its own unique quote. So that's going to repeat, you know, every single week, again, a weekly planner, but let's look at what happens at the end of the month. So we went through January here, and then when you turn the page, you go into weekly meal prep pages, four weekly meal prep pages, along with weekly recipes. So really, in my mind, you could sit down with this and um, plan for the next month, or you could use these pages for January, whichever you prefer. So you have enough to get through four weeks in the month. Um, you could write out your meals and have your grocery list for the week. You do have the me plan and then the big plan goals update. I wanna look at something. 
So January just says the plan, and then it looks like the rest of the pages refer back to your big plan and the goals update, which is outlined in the beginning of the book. Turn your page, you're in to your monthly calendar again, followed by your week view pages. You get to the end of the month and you have your weekly meal prep pages. And then that's going to repeat with the me plan, the big plan, and so forth. All right, at the end of this book, which is a December 2023 stop, you have room for your yearly reflections, two pages. And then just like the plan, you have your month on one page for January through December of 2024, which I think is really nice. You also have a couple of notes pages in this version of the planner. You still have your Meet the Artists pages and the Coiled In cardstock folder. Again, this is a new option this year called the Simple Plan, and it is a weekly planner. All right, that's the updated version of the 2023 The Plan and the new 2023 Simple Plan. And both of these products um, with the different cover choices will be launching on August 11th. And I do have a discount code for this product to share with you. That is Happy Place 10. And again, all of the details and things you need to know will be in the description below. Thanks for sharing this review with me. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe consider purchasing the plan for your home organization. Bye guys.